All right, Ronan MMA, welcome back to the channel. Now, I feel the need to start this video off by giving a bit of a preface, okay? Not a single time in my life have I struck a woman, and not a single time in my life have I advocated for striking a woman, but that is all changing right here, right now. Okay, can somebody please, for the love of Aunt Jemima, just accept Clarissa Shields' call out and go give her that sweet chin music, okay? Can we get John Jones, Greg Hardy, Gervonta Davis, somebody, dude? How is it that we have all these fighters who are willing to beat their significant others, but not a single one is willing to, to, to accept Clarissa Shields' call out Go in there and knock her out, okay? Seriously, it is driving me up the wall, dude. I will volunteer as tribute if I absolutely have to, but I, I, I find it hard to believe there's not a single one willing to go out there and do it, okay? Now, I understand that you might not want to be the one that goes out there and beats up a girl. Bit of a lose-lose situation for a male fighter, right? Because, you know, you win, you beat up a girl. You lose, you got beat up by a girl. I would wager my life that if somebody was to go and do this you might not get a whole lot of praise on the outside but you sure as shit would receive a ton of dms thanking you for your service okay because clarissa shields is completely and totally fucking delusional i do apologize i could only make it a minute and 20 seconds without swearing but holy hell okay unbelievably stupid now if you've been paying attention to any boxing twitter or combat sports twitter in the last couple of days you will probably have seen her call out ryan garcia okay now hear me out ryan garcia versus clarissa shields let's make it happen and you can weigh 160 woman versus he woman clarissa shields quote that cringy thing that she fucking created undisputed ryan garcia whatever okay listen lady ryan garcia would sleep you worse than that fucking almost an amateur dude very unexperienced professional boxer did in your sparring session and but this is why i want somebody to do it please please if you are in a situation where your gloves are getting checked hand wraps are getting checked she won't have an excuse no i'm sure she will come up with one because that seems to be in clarissa shield's nature but at the very least we will have somewhat of like a commissioning body involved that will make sure things are as fair as they possibly could be having a male fighter go out there and beat the fuck out of a woman okay now it's crazy, dude, we'll, we'll let trans compete in sports, but we, come on now, Jesus Christ. Now, again, if you are somebody that doesn't pay attention to what Clarissa Shields does, not only do I envy you, but good on you, dude, I applaud the fuck out of you because it, it will drive you crazy. You might think this is the first time she's called out a man, and you would be completely and totally incorrect. Okay, let's take a listen at some of the guys that she thinks she can beat in a professional boxing setting. If I would say, like, which is the guy I think I could beat him, I think I could beat up Keith Thurman. Really? I really do. I think I can beat up Keith Thurman, even though... She thinks she can beat up Keith Thurman. And people are going to say, what now? Oh, you know, he's like, oh, you know, he beat Sean Porter. I think he can beat Sean Porter, too. Oh, I think I can beat Sean Porter, too. Okay, dude. You know, skill-wise and just... Uh... Skill-wise. This is the shit that drives me up the fucking wall, lady. With all due respect, your bodies, as females, are not equipped to have the same level skill as a man. Okay, and we'll go over that sparring footage in which she got dropped earlier and you can kind of tell that by the way she throws her jab and her left hook which gets beat by this very inexperienced young inactive by the way professional boxer okay and as she likes to gloat about constantly she's a multiple time division whatever or, uh, olympic fucking gold medalist or whatever the fuck she is okay let's let's continue who else does she think she can beat this crazy fucking woman Strength wise, I think that they're made that they may be stronger than me, but their but their boxing ability isn't isn't like mine. Um, their boxing ability isn't like my unbelievable. Triple G, he's older now, but I, I can give Triple G a run for his money. She could fight Triple G, okay? I can give him a run for his money. How are you thinking you can hang in with, with honestly? Because this is gonna, you know this is gonna make you know what power power for power. She could fight Triple G, okay? Now not only that, she has also said that she could go in there with Conor McGregor. She has also called out Jake Paul. Okay, I got $100,000 of my own money. First of all, lady, the dollar sign goes at the front. Okay, it's not the cent symbol, but regardless, I'll put up that Jake Paul can't beat me in sparring. That's on me, let alone a fight. At J. Leon Love, tell you mans, I said, what's up? There's only one man. I fight December 11th. He fight the 18th after that we can spar six rounds. Best four out of six rounds if it lasts all six. Insinuating. That she would finish Jake Paul. Now listen, you can shit on Jake Paul's boxing ability all the fuck you want. He would sleep her. 
he would sleep her. This is why I said I'd volunteer as tribute, dude. Give me a bit of a camp. Also, allow me to throw one light kick per round. I'll fucking sleep her, okay? I can't stand it. I need to build my following so I can do that. But still, dude, this is unbelievable. How can a woman, as I keep saying, this is the guy that dropped her in sparring that she accuses of sticking weights or some shit in his gloves that she, because she lost a round in sparring, because she got dropped in sparring, ran out to her car to grab a knife to come stab the dude, okay? This is the guy. And as you can see here, now he does have a decent record, six and one, very inexperienced as far as, far as professional boxing goes. And when you have guys with this small of a career in a professional boxing setting, you know the kind of competition they're facing. Okay, that's one. Also, he's got two finishes and he's been knocked out in his one and only loss. But right here, status, inactive. This guy is not even an active professional boxer. He's a training partner that made her look like an amateur. And we're going to take a look at that right now, okay? This is, listen, for a woman, she is unbelievably skilled. It's not the same fucking thing. It's just not, okay? It's just not. Yes. Oh. That is one of the most satisfying things I have ever seen. But the fact that they were in a gym and she can come up with all these excuses makes it almost worse. I just want it to happen in a true setting where somebody's checking the gloves and says, so she has nothing to fucking say, dude. Okay. Nothing to say. Now I'm going to slow it down so we can see how she throws her jab compared to how a man throws his. Yeah. I mean it, ugh, I just, with all due respect to Clarissa Shields. Okay. Oh, but not really dude. With all due disrespect to Clarissa Shields, you are very skilled for a woman. You are not a man. And that's just it, dude. This guy inexperienced, inactive pro, made you look like a fucking amateur, okay? Keith Thurman would slump you. I don't care how old any of these guys are. Sean Porter, Triple G would slump you. Jake Paul, as little actual boxing, boxing experience that he has, pardon me, against actual boxers, would sleep you. Ryan Garcia might kill you, okay? Might kill you. Again, please, somebody, volunteers tribute. Anybody, dude, anybody. I know you guys don't want to hit women, but this is not like a typical domestic abuse situation or like, you know, just a man assaulting the fairer sex. What this would be, okay, is like some BDSM shit where she is volunteering, consenting to get her ass beat. Well, she doesn't think so, but that's what she would be consenting for. And you wouldn't be able to get in trouble for it. It would just be MMA guru, dude, this is your queen. Don't think I've forgotten. This is your queen, okay? And I will never forgive you for that. Anyways, dude, this video is go it's gone on long enough. I just, as I said, somebody please, if I have to, dude, I will build up my following solely for the purpose of calling out Clarissa Shields. I will volunteer as a tribute. Cue the fucking mockingbird whistle or whatever. But somebody please just do it. Because if not, you know, we're going to be waiting a while for me to get up there. And we're going to have to consistently hear this over and over and over again. And it's just... <sighs> Anyways, dude, like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.